to the vlog. I just filmed some hair content over here and blow dried my hair. And if you're wondering what I was using, I was using this, which is like the Revlon air dryer. I think that's what it's called. I'm not entirely sure, but I've been using this for months now, I think over a year and I love it. I'm the type of person that can't really give myself like a blowout. It's very hard for me, but with that, it just makes it super easy and it makes your hair really smooth, silky. So I love it and it's actually super affordable too. hanging out on my balcony with Kobe right now. Samson and I are actually leaving for New York tonight and I have not packed yet. <laughs> Who else can relate to that? I don't know why I do this every single time but I always wait for the last minute and then I feel very overwhelmed because I don't know what to pack. So we're actually going back to New York for almost a week. Um, I have my bracelets launching which I'm so so excited about. I kind of talked about it briefly in my last vlog but I did not show you guys but I think this vlog will be going up after they officially launch so I'm gonna show you guys here so it is a friendship collection bracelet with little words project which has been just one of my favorite favorite brands I love what they stand for they're all about empowering women believing in yourself and just positivity and for International Friendship Day I collaborated with a them little words project and my friend vivian vivian audi you guys probably seen her before in the vlogs on a friendship collection me and her both got to make our own individual bracelets so this one is mine it says stay gold which i absolutely love it's one of my favorite sayings since forever and this is what it looks like so so adorable it's some of my favorite colors this is what it looks like on and it's just so pretty and dainty and then for the friendship bracelets what we came up with was these so it's kind of like matching bracelets it says love you and what we were thinking is when you give it to your best friend when you give it to your friend you can give it to them and say love you and that's what the bracelet says it also has these super cute little hearts hearts on them these little gold hearts and i absolutely love these as well they're so so adorable they are a little bit different from each other but you can clearly tell that they're like matching friendship bracelets and then the final bracelet is this one it says ride or die which is so so adorable this one vivian design and it's just very colorful and fun i absolutely love it and i feel like it's like the perfect little addition to the other ones just like a little pop of color so before the launch we're actually doing a little like launch brunch with some of my best friends and some of vivian's best friends and it's just gonna be so much fun and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be vlogging it's gonna be in new york which is why i'm going back and i'm honestly so excited to see my friends i feel like being in LA and moving away from my friends and my family has just like really pulled me out of my comfort zone and I think that if any of you guys moved away from home from your hometown you definitely understand what I mean sometimes when I'm like facetiming my mom or my friends for a brief moment I'm really just like 
Did I make the right choice moving away? Because I just miss them so, so much. I miss being in my comfort zone. I miss like knowing where everything is. And LA is just so completely different than New York that when I first got here, it just took a lot, a lot of adjusting. But when I have those moments, I kind of just take a step back and think to myself, this is something that I always always wanted to do i moved to new york when i was four and i never left i went to school there i went to college there i went to grad school there and i'm sure a lot of you guys that have moved away can definitely relate to this where you've always wanted to try living somewhere else something is always holding you back because you're scared and you're leaving your comfort zone you're leaving your friends your family and everything that you know but when you finally do it it just feels like such a great experience and you just feel so proud of yourself. I feel very proud of myself for being able to leave my comfort zone and being able to build this whole other life in LA, something I've always wanted to do, something me and Samson always talked about. And there are moments that I feel so incredibly grateful that I'm able to just kind of move here. But then there are other moments where I feel so homesick. I'm the type of person that I just really love having my friends around and having my family around and sometimes I feel like it can feel very lonely especially when it's a new city and you don't know anyone thankfully I do have Samson and it doesn't feel as lonely making friends and having like these genuine relationships is actually really really difficult and that's something I didn't really consider before moving here it is honestly so great for a living you have the space you have the sun you have the nature and although new york and la are both big cities it just feels really really different so whether you are moving somewhere permanently or just trying out a new place i know it can be very lonely i definitely feel you on that what has really helped me is just being able to call my friends back at home or facetime them when i feel especially lonely and kind of just remind myself why I'm doing this and that's really to just experience something completely new and I think it's always so important to get out of your comfort zone you don't want to be stuck there forever because you're not going to be growing and I think even though it's only been six months I definitely do feel myself growing as a person seeing different perspectives as well and being more open-minded so when you are feeling homesick remind yourself why you did this why you needed to leave your comfort zone and kind of just reflect on everything that it has taught you okay i did not mean to get so deep into that or get deep in general but yeah that's just something that's been on my mind recently and after being here for six months it has really helped me reflect a lot Waking up feeling like it's gonna rain It's sunny out but it just comes in waves When you ask me if I'm okay I don't have a lot to say Can't tell you something I do not know Thought the other side was always green Everything you so hope for and more. For the first two bites. And then what? 
Yeah. And then it's just mushy and all No, that. it's good. It's we used good. to get it all the time when we lived around here. I mean, yeah, we'll ride our bike all the way here. <laughs> we rode our bike for 50 blocks to get it, but it was uh, craving satisfied. At 1 a.m. <laughs> Morning, everybody. I am on my way to meet my friend Isabel right now. I hope you can hear me because it's so loud, but it's such a nice day. Honestly, I haven't had a chance to kind of just like sit down and catch up with you guys ever since I got here. I think we've been here for four days now, and it's just been really nice catching up with friends and family. And every single time we come back, it kind of just feels like we never left. Today is kind of like a free day. I do want to shoot with my friend and I think Samson and I are just going to get lunch and hang around. But I'm going to vlog today. I'm going to be good and vlog today because I just keep forgetting to vlog the past few days and I just kind of want to be in the moment when I am with my friends and family. So I'll be good today and I will vlog. Can I tell you something I do not know? Maybe I'm being honest too. 